All right, so a 90-90 PRI breathing pattern. For this, the setup, it's called a 90-90 because you're gonna get a 90 degree angle at your knee and then a 90 degree angle at your hip. So if you get your feet just slightly higher, and if anything, you want to veer on the side of above 90 degrees, at least it pertains to your knee. So then from here, you're going to take your left hand and you're gonna put it on your left bottom chest. And then you're gonna take your right hand and comfortably put it over your head. And you can have it flexed in a 90-90 position as well. So it should be super comfortable. The reason that we set this up is because you want to breathe into your upper chest, specifically on your right side. So now let's actually do the cue. You can see that Lee is holding a foam roller in between his legs. He's only holding it hard enough so it doesn't fall and hit him. Now he's going to pull down with his feet without actually moving, and that's going to fire up his hamstrings. I want him to do that at about 10% of effort. And then from there, you're going to pretend like you're reaching your knees up towards the ceiling, but no movement might happen and that's going to fire up your lower abs. From there, Lee's gonna take a big in-breath through his nose and a big out-breath through his mouth. He's gonna exhale absolutely everything. His rib cage is gonna depress down, and then he's going to hold his breath for one, two, three seconds. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Exhale absolutely everything. Lee's doing a good job. You want to pretend like you're exhaling through a straw, and then he's going to hold his breath for one, two, three seconds. You can inhale and relax. Normally, you're going to do this for about eight to 10 breaths, again, holding that hamstring contraction the 